What's up, guys? It's Ryan Space here. Today, we received a lot of answers to our questions regarding the upcoming update and UTTVM, which is great news. However, some answers couldn't be provided due to privacy concerns. Nevertheless, I'll try to share some leaks with you guys today and I'll analyze them tomorrow. But before I show you guys the leaks, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you will get updated any time when I release any typical videos, like exclusive leaks, announcements, theories, etc. Anyways, here we go. My first question to Sentient was, do you plan to add maps for episodes 67, 68 part 2 in the upcoming update, especially since the vote was focused on episodes 67, 68 toilets? Yes, since my theory is right. The voting poll has a hint, remember. It is interesting to speculate whether we might get an episode 72 part 2 map based on the toilets that appeared in that episode. After this question, I asked, which upcoming update are you most excited to work on? Either the Astro Scientist update or the GMN 4.0 rework update. The owner seems to have enjoyed making the strongest toilet characters, which is why he mentioned it. After the second question, I asked, Do you plan to conduct a poll on Scientist Toilets versus Astro Toilets after update 14, rework? Yes. It looks like we will have a choice between the Astro Toilet Alliance or the G-Man, Scientist, and other characters from the Toilet Alliance. The next question I asked was, Will you focus on upgrading reinforcements and reworking them before UTTVM after the Toilets era update? Toilets are the main focus RN, so once I cover up like 90% of all toilets, then I'll start working on the Alliance. If 90% of the toilets are already covered, the owner may start working on reinforcements soon. My fan gave me some Q&A suggestions and it is great that you shared them with me. According to Rogue Ant's question, how do you plan on making the separated TVs and swords for when you make UTTVM? As in the series, some of UTTVM's limbs have their mind. The sword arm and fog could be one morph completely. The floating TV heads could be separate morphs as well. If er lonely or have no one to play as many TVs, there can be a toggle button for UTTVM to show hide fake TVs. The TV screens and sword will be separated into morphs. After this, I asked, Will Detainer Toilet ever get reworked? I'm not talking about the end trapper, the detainer itself from episode 60. I feel like he should get more moves. Yes. It also seems like the UFO Toilet will be reworked soon, which is a pretty interesting development. But after this, Rogue was pretty curious, so he decided to ask this. Will warping ever get reworked? Talking about Astros. The only actual warping is pressing the escape button, which just resets you. You should add an actual warping menu to teleport to areas, similar to fog and teleportation. It will turn to more of a speed increase button, so players can technically control where they want to teleport to. It looks like there will be no warping animation, and we will be able to fly around at high speeds in the future. After the question I asked, how do you plan on making the split bodies for Plunger Cameraman and Dark Speaker Man when it is time for their reworks? I will just use the simple loose legs format we use for the other morphs. This is a cool feature as it means we can use the loose legs button to split our bodies like Gojo. After the question, I asked, Will Glitch Plunger Cameraman be a separate morph or be with Plunger Cameraman 2.0, the one with a jetpack? Yes! Additionally, there will be a separate morph for the Glitch Plunger, which is a great addition. After the question, Rogue needs information about the map, so he asks, For when you make the toilet bunker, will you make any new features to open the doors, open chambers, etc.? Or will it just be a close, uh, open feature? Yes, this feature is convenient, as it allows the gate to open without getting closer to it. After the question, I asked, 
When you make the openable ground for G-Man's lair, will you try and make it an open close feature or only openable for certain morphs? It will be a button so everyone can press it. It is also possible that there will be a button underground G-Man's lair to open the gate automatically, which would be a cool idea. After the map info question, I asked, are you planning to add the toilets from episode 72 part one in update 14? Vote for. The quad launcher heli has appeared in 70 part one as well. It seems that the quad launcher heli was already included in episode 70 part one which is why they decided to add it to the vote. Additionally, Sentient will add Episode 72 Part 1 Rocket Launcher Toilets, which are visible in the image. The others are not included in Update 14. After Rogue Questions, Random TV Man also made a Q&A question. Credit goes to him for creating these questions. Although me and him have decided to collaborate for the Q&A, it may be a bit challenging, so he will not be included in this video for now. I asked, are Alliance polls going to come back, and when? Alliance and map polls, of course, will return. We're just in the toilet era because I like making toilets more. Essentially, Sentient mentioned that they are still in the toilet era update because they enjoy creating toilets. However, once they have finished 90% of the toilets, the toilet era will end and they will move on to the Alliance. Therefore, it would be reasonable to have a toilet versus cameraman role play. The next question was, are you gonna make a Halloween lobby for Halloween in the future? Halloween update will for sure have its theme lobby for the game. This is pretty cool since others are celebrating Halloween. The next question that I mentioned in my last video was, can you give a release date for the brand new update and the game coming back? The release date is unsure, but it could come any day after 13th of April. As for the next question mentioned in the last video, it seems that the game will be released on the 14th of April, but the release date is not certain. There is a chance it may come out on the 15th or 16th. The next question was, are you going to make skies like from Defook in EP72 and other EPs? Like the sky from Defook in other episodes like Bright Day, Night. I will try and improve the skies over the updates, as I want to balance night brightness with day brightness if I made night bright. The day might be impossible to even see. The fog appears to be the only problem that affects the atmosphere. Hopefully, they will come up with a solution in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're halfway through reaching 15K subscribers and your support is highly appreciated. Anyways, I'll be going now. See you in my next video. Ryan Space out.